the Champs Elysees in Paris, France. 70 years ago, the Nazis thought it would be a great idea to invade the country and they were walking down these streets. A pathetic excuse for a government that pretty much started World War II and were the result of 60 million people. And it's amazing 70 years later how much rich culture there is still here today. I thought that would be quite fitting because, you know, it is Call of Duty World War II at the moment and I am currently in Paris, France for work. Uh, so there you are, the Champs Elysees, everybody. The reason why I'm doing this video is because, to be honest, it's been a month since Call of Duty World War II came out and I thought I would tell you the results of how well the soundtrack has become in terms of YouTube analytics. Uh, it's, you know, for the past five years, Call of Duty music hasn't been very popular. And to be honest, Call of Duty hasn't been popular. Infinite War and Ghost and, you know, Black Ops 3, it started to slump a little bit. And same with the music. No one really cared, no one really listened to it. So uh, I, I'm here to say that Call of Duty World War II has done absolutely well. Uh, Wilbur Rogge, an excellent composer, has done some amazing sounds. The main theme is probably something that will be memorable for the new generation of Call of Duty players, uh, which is great. Now, uh, for example, uh, my view counts per day before World War II came out was about 10,000 a day. Now it's 19,000, which is fantastic. Half of that alone is from Call of Duty World War II which is just great. The viewer retention has gone up by 10 seconds and you know what? You just cannot complain. And of course my battery has died because I have been up all night and it is two o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I am back in the hotel room. So I apologize for that. But uh, just to quickly say, you know, I haven't really seen um, such popularity when the uh, soundtrack has, you know, has been uploaded. Uh, the quickest ones I've seen is Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 2, but this one really tops it up now. Uh, as I mentioned, 19,000 views uh, every day, so I thank you all very, very much. I'm glad that you like it. Uh, the main theme has done extraordinarily well, so well that, yeah, it, it really will be memorable for the next 10 years, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, Reasons why it's so popular, it's probably the sounds. People wanted the, you know, the World War II feeling again. You know, those horns, the, you know, those timpanis and uh, those absolutely stunning strings that uh, Wilbur Rugged, um, um, you know, produced. Um, so, yeah, I can't complain. Uh, actually, I can complain just one little con about the soundtrack is that uh, they used the same sounds throughout the whole soundtrack. And uh, what I'm a big fan of is uniqueness. So uh, yes, it is an incredibly unique soundtrack, but when it goes track by track, um, not, that, not that much individuality uh, as I would expect. Uh, track Home is absolutely fantastic as well. You know, that's quite different than, uh, than all the other tracks. Um, but that's pretty much it, you know, the, the soundtrack is pretty astounding. And what's even more exciting is that the soundtrack doesn't end there, you know. Uh, usually what I do every year is just to upload it and then that's it. I'll see you guys next year. But uh, not this year because I managed to find multiple, actually when I say multiple, I'm saying a couple of hundred sound files which I'm actually going through every week just to sound, find the best ones and I've called them the classified files. So please check out the playlist. So if you are looking into more uh, World War II music, uh, Call of Duty World War II music, then uh, tune in because already I've uploaded a official variation of the uh, main theme, which has more of a deeper sound to it. Uh, you guys will probably remember that one from the introduction of the campaign. Uh, there has been an ambient kind of track, uh, which I've called uh, "Your Night My Nightmare in Your Foxhole. So that's an eight minute track. Pretty cool, actually, a little creepy, but amazing. And uh, the final mission, The Rhine, uh, is two tracks compiled together with a bit of EQing and uh, that's a, a nice five minute track for you guys to, to see, to hear. Um, that is not in the soundtrack, you know, this is great because I, I've got it. Um, the problem with all these sounds is that they are very short so I'm, I'm sort of mixing them in with other similar sounds or I'm doing a lot of EQing, reverbing, you know, mastering, a bit of audio engineering just so, you know, the tracks are listenable um, and it's not just something that abruptly, you know, just finishes after a minute or so. So stay tuned, 
Um, please do go see the classified files at the moment because there are some really cool tracks there that you would not hear anywhere else on YouTube until somebody steals it from me. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, that's all I'm here to say. So thank you very much, guys. I really glad that you love the music because I bloody do. It's uh, fantastic. I've been, I've been, to be honest, playing it uh, on my um, on my iTunes for like a solid month now. So thanks very much, um, Bon Wee, and uh, I'll probably give you guys an update in the later future. But stay tuned with the classified files. Bye.